Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get my gadgets. I've seen a couple of people ask how I get these. It's not really that hard. And I'm just going to quickly show how I did that. So these are the gadgets in question. And I'm running Windows 10. So Windows 10 is over here. Um, I'm probably also going to show how I got this dock. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna make, uh, I have already made a raw file that you're gonna have to unpack and if you unpack it, you will get this. So this tool reinstalls the gadget function into Windows 10. So you install this and once you have installed that, these two files will get that icon and all you have to do is just click them and install. And you do the same thing with this one. And then maybe you have to reboot, maybe not, but after that, it's very easy. You should just have to click on the gadgets here and enable all CPU meter and GPU meter. These won't be set up. So what you got to do is, um, first off, if you want to have it to show turbo boost, you're going to need to use PC meter. I don't recommend it because PC meter is pretty heavy. So it runs always at like two to three percent of your CPU usage, which will have some influence if you play game, uh, emulators like Simu. So um, I'm not running PC meter. I just show it my physical core speed, not the turbo boost. And um, if you want to have it to show the temperatures, you're going to have to install the program Core Temp. If you're going to use PC meter for the turbo boost, then you don't need to run this because PC meter also supports it. But Core Temp is less heavy on the processor and can still show the temperature. So if you have installed that, which is a regular program, it will be somewhere and all you have to do is just open the EXE up. And as you can see, it shows now the temperatures. Um, I, I don't think I've changed any settings. Maybe I did, but these are the settings I have. Start with Windows, check for updates, enable plugins. Um, notification area, I think I disabled that because it would show multiple, oh, it does now. See, they have multiple here and we don't want that. So what you're gonna do is just highest temperature. Otherwise it's gonna show an icon. I'm just gonna keep it at highest temperature. And um, yeah, if I do icon, you get this ugly icon. So I'd rather have it show the highest temperature, which I don't care about anyway, but that's better than the other option. So do that. Uh, yeah, the rest you're probably not gonna need. Just start it with Windows and enable plugins. I think that one is needed to have it run with CPU usage. Core Temp itself has well, a plugin, but I don't really like that. And it's not showing threads. It's just showing full physical cores instead of showing all threads. So what I do is um, I zoomed in both to 125%. So let me move this here. Uh, this one you have to go to uh, display, but I have them both on 125. I have all these on. You can change it to Celsius and Fahrenheit here. Um, I have a temperature measure. No, you can have a temperature alert, but I have it off. I think yes, off because I don't need that on the graphics card. You can do uh, standalone. And if you already are running PC media, you can do that. But standalone works for the graphics card. So as you can see, it's showing my temperature. But for the processor, you're going to need to put it on core temp or PC meter if you're running that. I don't because like I said, CPU usage Celsius again. I have a sound. It's this one. So that only at 10% volume. Otherwise, it's really annoying. And that at 90% because um, I my processor hits 92 degrees if I don't turn on my external cooling. So what I do is I have this on so I don't forget to put the external cooling on. So I know, oh, I got to turn that on real quick. So that's that. What's that for? Uh, these are my rest of the settings. I have customized the colors. You can scroll through here and copy and paste all the color codes from here that you like to the course that you want to have them on. I've done it like this. I like how that looks and I think that covers that. I have the page file off and that's about it. And double click to task manager. I, I'm not, yeah, you can like double click and it will open task manager. But as you can see, this is what it looks like now. I have my RAM here, another one here. This is the usage and then you have the temperatures with all cores and the usage and then you have a graphic. And the same thing goes for the pro for the GPU clock. So 
this is what I use as my uh, gadgets. I have them mostly in the corner in the center like this. And this you can just minimize and the temperatures will st stay running. So that's how I do that. It's pretty straightforward. You either use this, which I don't, so I'm gonna delete it. Uh, install gadgets revived, install the both tweaks and install core temp, that's about it. For this, this is just a program called Rocket Dock. So I'm gonna quickly show that all you have to do is type in Rocket Dock download and you can download that there's also some skins and add-ons that you can download go through so you have to look through that i'm going to show which one i'm running i'm running these settings i have these settings here that will do the zoom effect which i pretty much like i usually have it on my other screen another centering you just keep at zero edge is pretty good so you can offset that um yeah and uh let me see where's the team style i think yes yeah, so it's oh it's not even oh that sucks i'm not gonna change it around but it's one of these and uh yeah i think i customized them like i have other labels for the running and stuff under there so this is pretty much custom you can do that pretty easy with paint and stuff or replace icons but this is just rocket dock it's very useful so that's where I get my programs from I started. So from here I can run Simu, Shadow Play. Shadow Play is pretty cool because I, oh yes, you can also um, put like arguments in here. As you can see, I have argument Shadow Play that will skip opening NVIDIA GeForce Experience and just open Shadow Play. I do the same with like the browser to move the cage file. So it's not running on my, on my uh, SSD, the cage files being made on the, my D drive. And you can also make like apps. This is pretty cool. So you can use like dash dash app is and then a page oh, and also the disk cage behind it. And it will run stuff as an app. This is like the browser. So you can see it opens the browser regular. And if I open like this, it will open it inside an app. And I can't log in at SoundCloud today for some reason, so that's pretty annoying. But uh, the same thing goes for like, if I do Google Maps, it's the app. And um, let me see, do I have another thing running as map? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. I think it's just SoundCloud at the moment. So yeah, you can run everything pretty much from here. So what I do to not get this issue, as you can see, if I full screen, it goes over the dock. I have another program, which is currently disabled. It's called Workspace Utilities. Oh dear, it's actually my Dropbox, I think. Hang on, let me figure that out. Oh, works. So here's Workspace Utilities. It's a very small program and all I do is go to the Space Reserve and then you pick a name. And this is currently display two, but I usually have it on display one. Location bottom, and I think 57 is what I need. So then you do that. And as you can see, indeed, that's the correct one. It's perfectly aligned with my dock. And uh, yeah, if you have a different size dock, then that will vary. So as you can see, that's how I have my dock there. So that's pretty useful on my laptop screen while I have my Usually my television is completely blank and this is how my laptop screen would look with a different background. So that's pretty much how I got this Mac type OS style with my, yeah, this is how I set it up. That's, it's pretty easy. It's very useful and very fast and it's very easy to access stuff from here. Like if I run Simu, it will run, um, what is it called? A launcher and, uh, we'll have to write arguments and stuff. It's actually pretty slow right now. I'm not sure why it's not, it's not popping up on either of my screens. There it is. So as you can see, I can just run that off there. It's very useful. That's a pretty quick video on how I set up my desktop. It's still showing four. Let me fix that up. That's not what I want. Um, Ah, sure, of course, I have to press apply. That might be the reason why. So it should be one icon now. Yes, that's good. So, well, that was it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, you can just ask. I pretty much answer everyone. And um, I give one tip. These do use some resources. Let me check that real quick. 
um sidebar is not currently but sometimes they use this is it was like high it was using like four when i have pc meter up so this is why i switched to core temp it's now really low usage which is pretty good even though it's showing every second all, all of the information needed you can disable stuff that doesn't work for you mine does work it's showing zero rpm because my vents are indeed off but if i would like if i would like fire my vents up it would show that here too you can see it's going straight to 25 and showing the rpm if they throw that up you can see it's showing that as well so that's working too uh memory controller sometimes works pcb also shader clock too i'm not sure why it's not showing it now maybe i need pc meter for that i haven't tested that because i only stopped using pc meter recently so that might be it if so i can probably disable them you do that at display you can toggle them here and you could reserve some space by removing these but um yeah thanks for watching that was it Bye.